award winner for service excellence. Double Dragon Productions, the new hip and urban feel of today's music. Visit us today at DoubleDragonProductions.com. Hair and makeup provided by Suki Salon and Spa. Check out the new spa located at Granville and 16th. You're watching Offside, the other side of sports. Two weeks of intensive training is over, and now 70 men will try to survive to the next day. Tomorrow, 20 players will be cut as the roster gets trimmed to only 50 spots. The BC Lions are taking on the Saskatchewan Rough Riders in their first preseason game. Feeling the implications of tonight's game, players head to the field and start stretching. Coach Harris takes some time to give all players some words of encouragement. Trying to solidify his spot as the backup quarterback behind Dave Dickinson, a relaxed Casey Printers warms up his arm. Time to let the dog out tonight, baby. Time to let the dog out. So, uh, evaluation is probably a bigger, higher priority in this game. Evaluating not only uh, player performance, but also uh, our scheme. Now's the chance for them to hit somebody else. And uh, we we're encouraging them to go in and do everything they can to show Wally that they belong here. And the fun thing is, there's always surprises. I mean, you know, there's always somebody that you never thought in a million years would work out the way they did in the game, and all of a sudden it makes you rethink. And that's a good thing. We want players to make our job tough within these, these final cuts for, uh, for this weekend. After a disappointing loss, 38-36 to Saskatchewan, players visit with family and friends. As the players leave the stadium, the coaches will now decide who moves closer to being selected as one of the final 40. Well, we're going to, uh, you know, go back, watch the tape, you know, get, get together with the coaches and the, and the staff and, you know, obviously make our decisions. Uh, you know, it, it wouldn't have mattered whether everybody played really well and we had won the game, you still got to release uh, a number of players. So uh, it's, uh, you know, it's the, the reality of what we do. So We're going home to eat and go to sleep, man. That's how you stay out of trouble. Get up and go to treatment. And out of jail. Going to treatment in the morning, 10 o'clock, right there. My body ate. Number one, going to the Grey Cup. Yeah! Lion! Lion! All right, we're back here with Offside, and uh, again, our guests in uh, in the house. We got Bobby Singh, Antonio Warren, and Otis Floyd. And we're going to continue our discussion talking a little bit about training camp uh, that we've just seen. And now it's obviously been over for a while. Uh, tell me uh, the, pre the first preseason game. How important is that? Because that's what we just saw. Um, how important is that for you guys uh, to play? I mean, you're all veterans, so maybe not as nerve-wracking. I don't know. Um, yeah, the veteran, no, it's not too much nerve-wracking. But as a rookie, oh, man, you got to go out there and do something. Like you said, you only had two weeks of camp, so the coach ain't really can't 
really evaluate you that well. <clears throat> So you guys got to go in there and just turn some heads. So it's very important for a rookie. You got to you got to shine. And uh, this is the first time you guys have been on the field since you know since October or November, and uh, you're in front of fans. What's that like for you? Like I was saying, I love the fans, and uh, they get you ready for the game. They get me crumped, and uh, just see somebody out there probably have your jersey on something like that. You just want to go out there and just play for them, and uh, <coughs> it just shoot. I think BC got some great fans, so. It's all good. Okay. And, well, we saw some of the fans in the first part of uh, the segment today. Uh, you told me about the lady who brings watermelon. Yeah, yeah, she was on the film earlier. Uh, she brings watermelon out to the guys uh, certain we days out the week. We appreciate it, too. And, yeah, we appreciate it a lot. Yeah. I mean, she bring a lot out there. Just sit out on the table for us, and we can just yeah. go up and get many pieces as we want. So that's okay. much love to her. That's very nice. Oh, I love that. Okay, well, moving along, we're going to have our little in-studio offside challenge with our guest today, and uh, we're going to pull some questions. What we're going to do is I'm going to give you guys each a chance to answer. Most of them are true and false. Some of them might be the multiple choice, so could you guys get comfortable? Get your game faces on. <clears throat> a chocolate bar contains more caffeine than a cup of coffee. True or false? False. That's got to be true. They wouldn't ask that. It's uh, false. false. Oh, yeah. it's false. There we go. Easy. Good. There we go. Good. One for <laughs> Otis. All right. You ready? Yep. How many strikes are required to get a perfect score in a 10 pin bowling game? I'll give you four options 13, 12, 11, or 10. 10. Okay. One more time. How many strikes are required to get a perfect score in a 10 pin yeah. bowling game? 13, 12, 11, or 10? 10. 12. 12. I tried to give you a chance when I asked for oh, three. <laughs> I was going to say okay. how many ever out there. No, I, know. I, I don't know the answer either, but that's okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, buzzer man. Who played Mr. Spock on the original Star Trek television series? I'm not a Trekkie, so I have no idea. Okay, you want to see that? Uh, who's that? Uh, Wait. I think Kurt. I need, his, <laughs> I, I, need, I need his real name. Who's that guy that does the um, commercials oh. now? Is that him? I need his real name. Uh, you guys the, can buzz the in. The Kong guy. You guys can steal it. Will Shatner. No. no. Oh, oh. I don't know them. Okay, that's a big no. That was uh, Leonard, Leonard Nimoy. Okay. Oh, oh, Nimoy. Lost, okay, yeah. this one, I think Otis is going to win this game. Uh, what rap group paid homage to Adidas sneakers in the song? <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Don't uh, tell him. Don't uh, tell him. Don't answer it. Answer it. <laughs> no, you can't repeat it. No, I'm just saying, how he get that question? Well, hold on. Well, hold it's just on. the way you could have had it if you would have gone first. What'd you say? What rap group paid homage to Adidas sneakers in the song My? No, don't see. You can't see the song. <laughs> oh, yeah, Is this song can. on there? My Adidas. Oh, Run DMC. Oh, okay. Is that on there? <laughs> like, like my singing that's going to yeah. give it away. Run okay. DMC, baby. Here we go. Come on. Okay, true or false? Neither strawberries nor raspberries are actual berries. True or false? False. It's true. Oh, well, <laughs> I be coming second here. They're both. They say berry. Okay, well. Okay. Holly berry. Holly berry. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. What color is on the upper edge of a rainbow? Oh, we Red. Oh my God. He got it right. We've seen it every there day. There we go. We there we lose. go. Yeah. We've seen it every day in Kamloops. Yeah. We did. Okay. Jesse, Jesse Owens won four gold medals at the 1936 Olympic Games, but set no world records. True or false? <laughs> Jesse, he didn't set no records? Jesse, it, said, it says he set no, wet, no, rec, mm -hmm. no world records. Mm -hmm. True or false? False. Nice work. Damn, there is your <laughs> champion right there. Hey, Otis, good. false. Man, I'm that guy. No, Otis, the, Otis, the nope. undisputed winner other than Bobby Singh. I'm He's disputing uh, You say Otis that, I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna 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 do, do Jim Rome. <laughs> I'm going to do Chris, All right. Chris Everett. All right, everybody. Five Otis is our uh, challenger or our winner today in studio. Congratulations, Otis. You are our offside mm, challenge you, winner. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and I want to thank you guys for coming out. That was a lot of fun. Bobby Singh, and Antonio us. Warren, and Otis Floyd. Good luck with the rest of your season. And uh, maybe we'll catch you back in here and have another challenge. Otis, uh, yeah, I'll have to bring you back to challenge someone yeah, else. I'm the champ. I'm the champ. <laughs> you got our champ. All right, we're going to say goodbye and uh, send it out with some three-on-three -three action happening up at SFU a couple weeks ago. Thanks. Offside! <laughs> oh,
how important is it to look good to play? Oh, you always gotta look good. You know, this girl is watching and everything. You gotta impress the ladies, you know what I'm saying? You gotta look good. Yeah. How does it affect how you play ball? It doesn't. It's it's a way of life, you know? I mean, everybody's gonna look good, you know what I'm saying? You can't be all raggedy and playing basketball. That's out of control, you know? Yeah. How long did it take you guys to pick what you're gonna wear and why? It took me like about an hour to get ready. Not that long. I just wanted to look good because there's so many people. <laughs> and how come pink? Because it's a nice summery color. It's my favorite color. <laughs> and how about you? Uh, not, around an hour. Yeah. Now, how, how did you decide what, what made the cut today? Oh, the weather. Because it's hot, so I want to wear something nice and summery. I picked the Sixers outfit because it's representing basketball, and it makes me look good. And, um, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. How long did it take for you to decide what you were going to wear? Um, what, see, I look good in a lot of outfits. I'm just joking, no. Um, that's right. <laughs> it took me about half an hour. <laughs> okay, good. And uh, do you have a favorite player on the 76ers? Iverson. Girl knows her basketball. Iverson. Well, you got to look good to play good. You know, you can't be, uh... But you gotta also play good if you're gonna look good. So it's vice versa. You gotta you gotta represent both ways, right? Okay. Well, I decided to wear a tank top and a skirt because it's really nice outside, and it's also not too revealing, but it's just enough to keep me cool, and it's it's comfortable. I decided to wear this because I don't usually like deck out like this. I usually wear track pants and stuff, so I thought I like look good for the guys. Yeah. <laughs> and there is a lot of guys here. Very good looking guys. Yeah, I'm up at Hoop It Up, all side the shore. I'm keeping this shit locked down like it, I'm keeping them gores. Man, you understand the game, and I keep the score. Me, I'm with 21 just for score. I'm like Vince Carter, nah, nah. MJ, two and three from behind the arc. That's what, yeah, all short represent, man. You know what I mean? Keep it real, BK's the name. Holla at your boy.